Okay, today we're going to be playing a second round of the Jeff Shats, except now we've got MLRS instead of Predator. This is the Evolved Edition, which Jeffrey has uh, has been playing, apparently. My guess is that the next evolution is going to be Pitbull becomes Slingshot, and then Jeffrey's just going to be playing Fortress. That's clearly where we're heading with this. <laughs> Jeffrey's like, hmm, I wonder what change I can make to make my deck slightly better. I know, I'll make it another step closer to Fortress. Three, two, one. Uh, I don't remember what the maps are for this event. I think it's three lanes and tug of war, is that right? So MLRS is obviously going to be insane on tug of war and fine. Actually, I'd say it's bad on, it's like not good on this map. This map looks like it should be maybe okay. It's, no, it doesn't even look like it should be okay for two range. You can clearly see like how far away the pads are from each other. Like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. Between the edges of the pads is seven tiles. That's not where you want to be with a two range deck. I should have made the second rifle as soon as I saw that he had a second harvester. I'm just going to go straight into Shatter because he has two harvesters. When your opponent has two harvesters, you generally want to tech switch quite aggressively. To force them to answer different things. Oh, can I just hang on? Let's just uh, let's just give him the old flippy flips. <laughs> All right, GG. Thanks for playing. Yeah, generally against double harvester because they have less money for tech switching. You want to present them with multiple threats quickly um, to make it more difficult for them to to fight back or against what you have. Like you don't want to just rifle mirror a guy who's double harvesting because he can do that all day. And it doesn't cost him very much money. You really want to... Ooh, hang on. You really want to put him under pressure as quickly as possible. Force them to... Force them to adjust to your units. Alright, see you, Walker. See you later. I'm gonna get another Shatterer because my one's almost dead. I'm gonna send this Pitbull up here just so he has to... Send an Orca up there to kill it. Because he wants to send an Orca middle to kill Shatterers. But then he has to send another Orca top. I don't know where you think you're going with this Harvester, my guy. It's not happening. Alright, well there you go boys. Yeah, there's the Orca going top. We'll send a Shatterer up there as well. Or oh, not Shatterer. Yeah, Shatterer. So now he has two things he has to kill and he's dead. Unlucky NATO. This deck does look quite weak to Orca. It only has Pipple and Pipple and Missile. Hey, Tony! 1v1 me, Tony. Oh, there's also half and half on the map. In the map pool. This is also a good one for two range. I do remember the maps now. I don't like this map. This is one of my least favorite maps in Rivals. I mean, like, there are definitely... What is happening? There are definitely maps I just like more than this one. Um, most of them are two-pad maps. But as three-pad maps go, this is one of the worst, in my opinion. This, like, stupid route around the top to the harvesters. And then, like, the bottom is just a single... Like, the map size is actually a lot smaller than it looks. Because the relevant map area is down here, pretty much. And then you've just got this stupid avenue around the top where people attack your harvester constantly because they're dumb. So yeah, no offense to people who attack the harvester constantly. I'm sure you're really good at the game. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, there's this like heinous a route around the top for people to walk around. All right, McNeil good versus two range confirmed. Nice MG. Also Shatterer, obviously very good against no harm MG. Pretty good unit in this matchup. I'm surprised we're still playing, although am I surprised? I mean, this guy is playing MG, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised about anything. What's his plan for when I have two Shatterers and a McNeil Trap? In fact, let's wait for the McNeil Trap. Alright, GG. <laughs> G oh my god, he has so many MGs. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. A tried and tested MG strategy. The MG box. This is one of the redeeming features of the Chatterer. You basically hard farm anyone playing MG. Like, MG is just so horrible against Chatterer. Rhino is actually probably better than Chatterer because it's so much cheaper. And it, it kills the MG 1v1 as well. But yeah. Chatterer does farm MG. Singapore CDO. What's CDO chat? Oh my god, it's a Scarabrush. I'll tell you what, man. I love a Scarabrush. I'm going to give it to him. 
I have so much respect for people who Scarabrush that I will always let them have my Harvester. Well, not always, but often. You go, buddy. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy that Harvester kill. You earned it. Chief Dong Officer. I don't think that's what it is. Invite Hyrad so he has a friend. If Hyrad wants to join the Alliance, he can. Pretty much if anyone wants to join the Alliance at this point, they can. It's not like a very exclusive Alliance. Is he scared? Okay, now, now that's too much. Like two times, that's too many, man. That, that's too much. I, I'll give you the first one. That's, you know, that's legit. You deserve the first one, but you're not getting two. That's outrageous. That's just greedy. I, I, I've lost some respect now that he tried to do it again. Like, it was pretty obvious I was giving him the first one, and he should have been grateful. He shouldn't have tried to push it. That's just rude. Now I must punish him by slaying his Harvestars. Uh oh. Apparently you can't McNeil trap there. Alright, you had your freebie, my guy. Actually, I don't want this MLRS, you know. I just want to shatter her. But he's obviously going to attack my Harvester again, because, you know, he's a human being that plays rivals. Hey, look, what a surprise. I think I have a Razorback in this deck. This is, I mean, this is everything you need to know about this meta game that I'm playing Shatterer, Razorback, and Rifleman. And I'm not even like, this is insane. I'm just like, yeah, that's legit at the moment. That is the meta game. You need, like, multiple ways to kill infantry, because if someone shuts down the way you have to kill infantry, then you just lose to lasers and missiles. All right, GG. Is he going for the Harvester? Yo, please be going for the Harv. Amazing. Amazing. You know what, Singapore CDO? You get it. You understand how to play the game. Yeah, no one actually uses traps, because they're terrible. Like, the, the traps are terrible as traps. They're only good as an instant pop ability. New objective available. Crystals are calling. <laughs> Not Dong. Building Strong online. disagree. Building Chief Dong building. officer confirmed. Oh, a buggy rush. Now that one's unusual. Is it buggy bike or just buggy? Just buggy? Okay. Is he going, he's, yeah, okay, it's full on two buggies at my half. Um, I'm ages away from having an out, out answer to this. That buggy is not running away. I don't think I want these rifles anymore. Oh, misclick. Oh, fuck me. Save me, McNeil Trap. All right, thanks, McNeil Trap. Appreciate you, my guy. So if I was to try and do a challenge where I had to make two McNeil Traps at all times. I would just be, like, putting them by my base, I assume. So you'd just be, like, McNeil Trap here. That's a Giga Cannon. That's scary. Oh my god, my mislicks are heinous. I don't actually need a Harvester, to be perfectly honest with you. I have quite a lot of money right now. Unit 
Man, look at that McNeil trap just slapping. You see that? That Giga was like super charged up. Mission accomplished. And I was able to drive an MLRS into it and he retargeted and my MLRS still fired. That's kind of nuts. Three, two, one. New objective received. Robocop. Harvester. Building online. I mean, to be honest, guys, your opinion's kind of invalid because you just don't play the game. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I want this for a slingshot. Yeah, you never play the game, so of course, it doesn't. You want all kinds of nonsense. Uh, my opponents have all conceded. That was quick. All right, we'll do we'll do a quick ladder game as well, since that last guy just scooped it up. A bit disappointing. Objective available. All right, Canada guy. Let's see if we can defeat Engineer you with a shatter out. Bro, you know I can't even my back. It's rude. Canada guy is in Team America. Yeah, that's kind of confusing. Maybe it's Team North America. Maybe it's like the continent rather than the country. It's weird that he didn't make a second dog. That's like super unusual. Just went straight into the mighty shocks. Um, am I supposed to go Shatterer or am I supposed to go Razorback? I think I'm supposed to go Razorback here. I don't know why. Razorback felt like it made more sense, to be honest. Look at that time to kill on the shocks. The Razorback fighting the shocks, just 1v1. The missiles die way faster than the shocks. Which is fair enough, I guess. Shocks cost a lot more than missiles. They cost like twice as much as missiles. The Razorback only costs 50% more than shocks. Yeah, Razorback seemed like it was a good decision here. I'm not sure this MLRS is a good decision. Probably should have just gone Shatterer. I'm a little concerned about being a Shatterer MLRS guy. What if he makes Orca? That would be bad. I mean, tank. That's not as bad. This tank has no hope of being dangerous to me. Look at that McNeil trap, man. It's just doing work. Absolutely obliterating. Can't deal with the McNeil trap. You are victorious. Is it hello BM when the opponent has McNeil? I mean, not really, but also like I can't emote back, so it's a bit sad. That's all I'm saying. I'm just sad about it. All right, there you go, guys. New and improved Jeffrey Shatterer deck. Uh, is it better? I don't know. Probably. Like MLRS Shatterer is a pretty good combo. You're really just, I feel like these decks don't MLRS that hard. They're not really that good at MLRSing. <laughs> They're just sort of Razorback decks. <laughs> and then you have an MLRS in there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.